so the girl from the black girl from Boy Meets World, um, the girl who played Angela from seasons five and six and seven, um, she was a token black girl. She was never respected on the show. And when I watched her on the show, it felt weird. You know, you see the white cast, then you see the little black girl, and she didn't seem to fit in. It was, I mean, everything about her was different. Her personality was different. Her skin was different. It, it just didn't, it just didn't look right. And the way they treated her on the show seemed weird, too, because she only had these one-liners. And all, and most of the time, you never see her hanging out. You know, you never see her in, it, it, it's just, it just felt weird, the, you know, the way, you know, and I guess it's how a lot of black girls feel when they date, when black girls date white men, they do probably feel out of place because they have to adjust to his family, they have to adjust his friends, and then, then she's the only black girl, and they probably, they probably treat her a little weird, give her weird looks because, you know, her, because her skin color is different, her, it's a different culture, but Trina McGee is the, the, the girl, the, the woman who played Angela back in the, 19, the late 90s, early 2000s, on the uh, TV series Boy Meets World. We all know Boy Meets World was about a boy, adolescent boy named Corey Matthews, who's from sixth, from sixth grade to 12th grade. We see him in sixth grade. We see him go to high school, graduate from high school, go to college, and he deals with everyday life problems. It's a very good show. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's one of my favorite shows. Ben Savage, who played Corey Matthews, is very, very, he did a very good job. He's average. He's not popular. He's just, he's an average guy. You know, he goes to school. He has to deal with problems at home, problems at school. He has a, he, he lives next door to his teacher, Mr. Feeney. Mr. Feeney seems to be, you know, he thinks his teacher is, is obsessed with him. It's, it's weird. But anyway, Trina McGee, McGee, feels like she's neglected or rejected from the, from the, she's not included on the reunions. When they're having reunions, she's not included. She says she doesn't feel like she feels like she's othered. She feels she feels like she doesn't belong with the cat, other cast members. Also, she says she dealt with a lot of racism on, behind the set of the show, um, which it doesn't surprise me. They say they, you know, I think Ben Savage and the the girl uh, the girl who played Topanga, Real Freedy, and the the guy the guy who played Sean, they all kind of treated her differently, you know, because of her her ethnic her ethnicity because she's African American. You know, she was African-American. And like I said, you know, Ben Savage, the girl who played Topanga, the girl, the guy who played Sean, and the guy who played Eric, they probably never grew around black. They probably did never grew up around black people. Most of the people, the, most of the friends they probably had were probably white people. So when they saw this black girl, the black girl show up in season five, Angela, they probably like, okay, she's probably going to be in for like maybe one episode, but then she start coming back. They, they, you know, they made Sean and Angela come back every she was in almost every episode of season five you know um and it probably was a little awkward because they didn't know how to re, you know they didn't want to, they probably could express themselves freely they probably didn't want to come, say anything racial or you know they can't make fun of black people around her because she's she's right there and you know they was probably probably just nerve nervous you know they don't know anything about black people they probably never you know but anyway boy Me's world was the first interracial you know, there wasn't too many interracials where you see a, a black a, a black girl and a white guy dating on a sitcom. So this was very new, you know. And if you watch Boy Meets World, you notice that every every episode, Sean is always dating a white girl. He's dating a white girl, white girl, white girl. His, this Angela was his first black girlfriend. He realized that hey, I feel more comfortable around an African American girl than I do around a white girl. You know, and a lot of people, it took a lot of heat from a lot of people. A lot of people didn't like it, especially a lot of racist people. A lot of people who didn't like the, that scene of a, a black girl with a white guy. So it it, it, that, I, it got a lot of heat, but um, the show was still pretty good. And it's so funny because when Angela started on the show, I think that's when their ratings dropped. You know, a lot of racist people, you know, a lot of white people didn't feel comfortable seeing a white guy with a, a, a black girl. You know, but the thing about Trina McGee, McGee Sorry, but she was, she was, she looked younger than her age. She, I think her age gap, there was everything to do with this woman. Her, her ethnicity, she's an African-American girl. She was a lot older than, than, than the, the Corey, the characters. Ben Savage and the, the guy who played uh, Eric and Sean and Topanga, they were 18. She was in her late 20s. She was 28 years old, you know, and she was married with kids. The guy who played Corey, the the, the 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 woman who played Topanga, the guy who played Eric, and the guy who played Sean, they didn't have any kids. They just had just graduated high school. They didn't know anything about the real world. She had graduated college. She was married. She had kids, and then she was a decade older than them, them, than them. 
you know, when they were 18, she was like 28, you know, she said, you know, she was 28 when she started the show, and when the show ended, when the cast was like 20 years old, she would have been, she was a uh, 30, 31 years old, you know, playing an 18, 19 year old, it was weird, but she was, she, she just has good genes, she just looked younger than her age. You know, I think because of her, 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 I think her age gap has to do with it too. It's age gap. She was married with kids, and then she was more experienced than the other cast, the white cast members. But um, she says that the people, the the the, the you know, Corey, Topanga, Sean, whatever, all of them, Eric, they would make fun of her behind her back, and they would call her Auntie Mama. You know, they didn't, they didn't feel, they would treat her weird, give her weird looks. Racial slurs was coming out. They, they, you know, maybe I don't want to work with a black girl. I don't feel comfortable around a black girl. You know, I think that's what that was. That was what she was talking about, and that's what she was dealing with. She dealt with a lot of racism. So Trina McGee, she's still, and she's fifty years old, and she still acts like she's twenty. She's a grown woman in her fifties, man. She's in her fifties, you know. And this, and everything that her past is, it, it, this stuff. The show canceled back in two thousand. The show canceled when I was nine years old. Okay, I was, I'm twenty nine years old. So back in 2000, that was 20 years ago, and she, you know, when she was like 30 years old, 31, um, 20 years later, and she's still feeling like she didn't belong on the show, even though she was in a lot of episodes, she was in more than 30 episodes, I think, you know, she was in seasons five, six, seven, she still, she still feels like she didn't belong on the show, she felt like, uh, uh, she, 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 she felt like, uh, she felt like, a, she, she felt like she was being criticized because of her skin color, she felt like she was criticized because of her. She she was criticized because of her age gap. She was a lot older than the other people from the the, the core and the other gang. And then she felt like she was criticized because she felt like she was rejected because of her race. And I, I I feel like, you know, you know, hey, you know, you that's like a, a white girl going on an all black show. Just like that's like you know, Jim Carrey. You think Jim Carrey probably felt the same way because Jim Carrey was a white guy. And then he went on a show. He did in Living Color before he became a multi-millionaire. Before he started making all these, he was in the '90s movies. He started being all famous. Jim Carrey was on In Living Color with the Wayne's family. The Wayne's family is hundred percent African American. You know, all the people on that show were were black, and he was the only white guy on the show. Besides, there's a white woman too. But but in other words, he was the only white guy on the show. And he had to go every day seeing, you know, walk, you know, had to, you know, you know, he had to go on, you know, he was being picked on. They were probably picking on him because he's the only <laughs> white guy on, you know, he probably felt weird, you know, saying, you know, hey, I'm the only white guy on the show, you know, but it worked out. But I just want to say Trina McGee, Trina McGee should not feel like, feel like she's being rejected because of her, she, she thinks she's rejected because of her race. She feels like there, she's not invited to reunions. And that she she doesn't that they don't like her because she's black. I just think they don't know. You know, they just really don't. Like I say, everything has to do with personality. You know, I don't think it's because she's black. I just think that people treated her bad because maybe she could have been quiet. She seems like a very quiet, but you know, quiet girl. Trina McGee is very quiet. She does. She has done a lot of low budget movies. And um, I just I don't think it's and like she. I think she's pull, she pulled the race car. And the guy who played Eric has apologized to her. He has sent her a letter saying, I'm sorry that I, I you know, if I made fun of you, if I, if I made you feel uncomfortable, you know, he has apologized to her. Um, the guy who played uh, Eric, you know, the guy who was the, the goofy guy, the bro older brother, Eric, you know, the, the guy who's always, you know, the guy who was considered slow on the show. But he apologized to the, the, the woman who played Angela. Uh, Trina McGee, and he said he's sorry about if he made you know that if he said anything racial or made her feel like she's you know doesn't make like she doesn't belong on the show that he's very sorry. He was he said he was he was young and dumb, you know he didn't understand anything about African Americans. But when he met her, he she was the first African American gir girl he ever really was friends with, you know. So he had to adjust to 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 a black girl on the show. But anyway. The guy who played Corey, the guy who played Sean, and the guy who played, uh, the guy who played Corey, the guy who played Sean, and the woman who played Topanga, uh, Danielle. But they say that she, though, they haven't really apologized to her. And I think if they, they're probably scared to, they probably want to say, I'm sorry. But if they feel like if they say something, then the people are going to get mad at them, they're going to be called racist. And nobody wants to be called a racist. 
So, but like I said, I think Trina McGee, McGee is very respectful, respectable, and I believe, and she, I, I liked her on that show. She, she really brought it was she was the first really first black girl on the show. We had Eli. Eli came on in seasons three. He was in seasons three. He was the actually the first black guy was Eli, who um was on Becker. I think he was on the Becker show, the blind guy. I hope that's the right show. But I think he he played on he played he played the blind guy on Becker. But Eli is a black guy. And he was the first black character on Boy Meets World. Then season then there was no in season four there was nobody black. Season five they brought on Angela. Corey also had some black friends in seasons one. You know he he had a black a couple black black friends in seasons one. At least he had two black friends in season one. So they had a few black people on Boy Meets World, but the show was mostly 100% European. But it's a good show. I love the show. Mr. J, peace.